Hey guys, I hope, oh, excuse me, <laughs> I don't know what that was, um, but I hope all is well with everyone. Um, first off, I'd like to start off my video tonight. I've been starting off with helping YouTube influencers spread about, um, this YouTuber. Um, you've probably heard of him, some of you, um, Joseph Morris. I do have two links down below from down the rabbit hole news um wonderful gal go check it out um she is bomb diggity um very respectful um i do uh, highly suggest to check out her other stuff and also subscribe to i did subscribe as well you can see it under my um i think it's the channels um i have a few others under there too please go check them out um, I might actually have to go through them because I think I accidentally hit subscribe on one and I didn't mean to. I thought it was Grizz and I was like, oh no, because I have another, um, account. And anyways, um, so let me give you a little bit about this. Um, so this guy is, is making very, very fake news. Um, he's done it before with the Gabby Petito case. He was the one that made that video, that short clip about, you know, he was playing as Brian Laundry on a boat and the water and all that jazz. And now this time he had edited a document um that was re already released, um, which I didn't I did not know you could do that. Um and then he did also create um an audio sound and saying that it was from the house that night about the Idaho murders here so go check that out gain your opinion in my opinion I think it's very disrespectful to the families and friends and those who had had to deal with the tragedy that they had to deal with before passing it's unfortunate that there are in my morals in my eyes in my opinion I think that that is very disgusting um and he thinks it's funny he's not taking it very serious so again you check it out you gain your opinion also i apologize about my attire i am pregnant and i am sweating <laughs> so yeah um this one here will probably be a short one as a pop-up um this was asked a while ago and i've I keep putting it off, and it's not intentional, not at all, I'm just like, oh yes, that's right, and I wrote it down, and then I, I think I wrote notes all around it, and I think that's how I missed it, I'm sorry, honey, um, I apologize, but here I am doing it, um, so this one here is, we are going to ask, will Selena Gomez use other methods to have a baby? Will Selena Gomez use any other method or any methods, sorry, for having a baby? Oops, my. I heard something, but I wanna, okay. I've learned that I need to share more of my feelings and what I'm hearing or what I'm feeling and what I'm hearing. So what I heard was surrogate. So let's see here. Selena Gomez, will she at all use any other methods to produce a baby? Well, we are starting off with the star card, celebrity, Aquarius energy. The six of wands, victory. Here in success with the Six of Wands, Fire Energy. Now here we have the King of Wands. Male Energy, Fire Sign. Four Cups, feeling apathetic here with the Water Sign, or Water Energy. But an offer comes in. This, oops, you can't see because of my fat hand. I'm a lefty. <laughs> um... But there's an offer that comes in that will help with this path, it looks like. This Eight of Cups. Uh, 
abundantly here with the Nine of Pentacles, Earth Energy. We'll get into this King of Wands here. Because the King of Wands can also represent strategic planning. So, could also be about her victoriously, strategically planning an offer. Something that she can do here on in her path. The Moon card, Pisces energy. Something that's unknown. In the dark. Capricorn energy here with the Devil card. Chains. Something she's connected to. Excuse me for a moment. Thank you. I'm gonna try to move these guys on over. So here we have our Ace of Wands, Eight of Wands, and our Four of Swords. A new creation. With rapid action. Of healing. Two of Pentacles, balancing things out here with the Earth energy. So there is finding some type of healing with a new creation here. Will Selena Gomez use other methods to have a baby? Another deck. Ace of Cups. Ten of Swords. Right, King of Swords. Empress. Definitely get another deck out. The Eight of Swords. We'll see what's behind the swords as well. So the Ace of Cups is um a new love. The cups is the emotions here. And the ten of swords. Air energy in the mind. And it's. Where. It's time to make a decision. About this new love. Okay. And then the king of swords. Male energy. Fire, or yeah, fire sign. Male energy. Air sign. Your energy. The King of Swords is also known for making a decision as well. This Empress. Like finalizing the decision. And the Empress is about fertility. About motherhood. Thank you guys. <laughs> They're like, motherhood is a better word. Yes, it is. Um... So the Eight of Swords, air energy in the mind, the Eight of Swords, this is boundless, okay? So let's backtrack here real quick. Our star card, Selena Gomez, right? She's very victorious. We will still ask about this King of Wands, um, but here though, without another deck, it looks as though this King of Wands will be bringing in some type of offer. If it's not strategic planning, like her strategically planning her life out, and this offer just comes along, this King of Wands, okay, looks like it's going to be bringing some type of offer um, towards her within her path and her journey while she's walking away. Might even be walking away from this, this type of offer here. However, though, after this, there's 
in the dark, there's going to be a new creation that that includes with a lot of action. But there's healing involved, being able to lay things to rest with this new love of making decisions with her situation. All right, here, learning with the page of Pentacles about this union issue here. Temperance card, making decisions, Sagittarius card, making decisions to move forward, and they're grounded, holding on tight. Queen of Swords, this is the only deck that I have and that I've seen that the Queen holds a baby. Now, the Queen of Swords... Yes, feminine energy as well as air sign, but the Queen of Swords is also known as carefully making decisions, like thinking about making this decision. And using the inner skill to do so. Let's see here. Can you tell us about this King of Wands, please? This King of Wands. How does this King of Wands relate to Selena Gomez in this situation? Who is this, or what is this King of Wands in this situation? Very good, yes. Can you describe this King of Wands, please? In this situation. Our temperance card. Strength and knight of wands. Okay. So this king of wands. Is all about this decision. With moving forward. It's grounded decision. So, this grounded decision is something that's been thought upon. Okay. Strongly. Leo energy. Strength card. Charging forward here. We're charging in with this Knight of Wands. Holding on tight here with the Four of Pentacles. Can you tell us a little bit more about this? King of Wands here. Page of Swords. Learning from afar. To hand this offer out here. Might even be a type of spy. This King of Wands here, please. Can you tell us about this King of Wands in this situation? For Selena Gomez, please. There's a lot of fire energy on the table here. With what came out of this deck here. I mean, we are asking about fire energy. Okay. Okay. So some, this King of Wands is going to be coming in with some type of advice about her situation to help perfect it. Okay, Because we have our, our Ten of Pentacles and our Nine of Pentacles. Our Knight is uh, very slow. Um, however, this Knight does come in with proposals and offers. Um, something that's very valuable. Then we have our Ten of Pentacles, which the Ten of Pentacles is where you're financially happy. Um, it does also have to do with family and healing as well, because you see there's a lot of family, there's a lot of enjoyment and play in this card. Um, it does also have to do with legacy as well. And then our Eight of Pentacles is all about mastering and planning, perfecting. 
So I'm telling you this because that's, I like to prove, okay? I, this is my way of showing you the evidence is by describing the cards as well. Um, besides educating those who want to be educated. Because I don't want you to think that I'm pulling stuff out of the air because I don't do that. I'm telling you what the cards are telling me um, and what I hear and feel. I'm trying to get better at that part. So, this Knight of Wands. is bringing trying to bring in something that is that could be worth valuable within her path here that's kept in the dark that's a new something that's a new creation here for her so she's going to be thinking about it and it looks as though with this page of pentacles she's going to be looking further into it i'm gonna back up here because i would like to ask about this king of swords oops Derp. Yeah, she's going to be learning about it and further on the options. And it's going to bring healing to this new love. This King of Swords, can you tell us why this King of Swords is in this situation here for Selena Gomez? Can you describe the purpose of this King of Swords for Selena Gomez in this situation? That one was a little hesitant. Okay. Um, so we got a pair now all of a sudden, um, not making any type of jumping to any type of irrational conclusions here, but because this is the only card that we've got out of this deck, anyways, with asking about this King of Swords, the Emperor card is Fire Energy, Aries, and it's all about control, taking control with strength, more fire energy. Can you tell us about this King of Swords, please? What is this King of Swords doing here for this scenario? Learning from afar that Page of Swords again could also be some type of spy. About making this decision to go forward. Making a grounded decision. Okay. So it's as though with this king of swords. She's doing like her research. On this. Adventure. The page of wands. Eager to adventure into this tower moment. This crisis. This disaster. Trying to figure out some type of clarity. For when she's ready to. It was the Eight of Pentacles. I thought I'd seen a different card. But. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, but anyways. Yeah. This is. This King of Swords is all about where. She is focusing. On. This a, it's a narrator. This King of Swords. King of Wands is a person. This King of Swords is a narrator of her situation here at this point with the empress okay talking about being motherhood situation um but this is where she's going to be taking control and authority of her own life of her situation here and seeing what her options can be and maybe even getting further into this this cup that's being presented here by the King of Cu or King of Wands, excuse me, and she's going to be learning as she adventures on in this journey in life. Um, we do have two eights, 
which is about cycles, um, things that are infinity. So there could also be, well, of course, there's there's tons of options, of course. Um, but it looks though she is going to be looking into what her options are, um, and then reevaluating which option she would rather choose when she's ready, when the time comes. So I just heard when the time comes. I agree when the time comes. Um, I say that because I had a weird situation. Um, I thought I couldn't have kids for 10 years, but no problem. No problem. I was just lied to. Even by a nutritionist, too. Or, sorry, a loose... The fancy doctor. <laughs> um, I can't think of it. I always mess it up. I, I, anyways, we are getting off subject here with going into myself. Uh, if you did enjoy, please hit that like button. If you'd like to see more in the future, please hit that subscribe. If you'd like to share, please go ahead and share. Um, please don't forget to check out the links down below. Also, um, the 19th of this month, please don't forget, I plan on starting the tarot education stuff. Um, I am currently just planning and waiting to see if anybody can come up with ideas on what they want to learn specifically with uh, Tarot. Um, I do have up a huge list up on the community board. Please go ahead and check it out. Um, I'm trying to think. I think that's everything. Alright, you guys. I got two more to do for sure. And I think that's all it's going to be. At least for video. I got a comment I would like to get to before I hit the hay because I don't want anybody to feel like they're on the back burner and I'm sure that a few people do and I hate feeling like that so I do not want others to feel like that so I'm trying to juggle everything along with my family um and things that I got going on here um I'm trying to multitask I'm not always great at it um but I do learn pretty quick. I'm trying, you guys. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your love. Um, I think that's everything. Until next time, you guys. Auf Wiedersehen. Bye-bye.